goes, jamming that one home. And the deeper we get into this game, it seems like the more the offenses are in rhythm. Without question, I mean, both of these teams are firing on full broadband bandwidth. I mean, full throttle ahead. And the foul on Derrick Rose. That's foul number two for him. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Three minutes! Now let's the pass to George. Back to Ellis. Just four to shoot. Off target from outside. And that's not the best of shot selection here. The defense definitely won that possession. Yeah, I think in that case, you've got to go elsewhere with the ball. You just can't rise up over the top of him when he's on you. Hill kicks to Robinson. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Miritich. And Butler, here we go. And a point we've seen some great competition in this one. I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, looking at the lead changes really kind of tells the story of this game. Yeah, seven already in the game. And I think it shows you how well these two teams match up with one another. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. To the paint. And Mirajic has it in the corner. Again, Chicago. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. And it's Hill penetrating. Ellis outside. The three from George. They grab their own miss. Ellis kicks to George. George missing again. Got a good look, though. I thought that was going to go down. They had a D, though, just enough to bother the rhythm on that one, Clark. Rose dishes to Butler. Rose again. Stellis. Shot clock at five. Back to Rose. From past the arc. Can't get it to go. Great defense that time from Ellis. As clutch a shot as I have ever seen. In a word, gutsy. And it's Rose penetrating. It falls! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Guys, he's one of the main reasons this game is tied up. I mean, he's done his part to keep them in it. It's stolen by Dunleavy. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. The score nodded at 64. One second left in the fourth quarter. is ended and we're heading to overtime from the United Center in Chicago back in a moment jump ball. start of overtime just a bonus as they get ready for the jump ball and it's going to be the Pacers off the tip so the overtime period is now ticking away should be fun all fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here brought to us by Gatorade let's check out who's on the floor so for Chicago right now the big men are Gibson and Noah. Brooks out there with Heinrich. And it's Butler in the small forward position. Indiana trailing here. Hill drives in. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. It's a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. 
Mike Dunleavy, he's checked in for Brooks. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Kirk Heinrich. Yeah, but you have to love that tough interior defense. And, Greg, that's exactly what he gives you. I mean, he's constantly making his presence felt around the rim. And he makes the first. Derek Rose. And Rose drops them both. Pacers trail by three. Hill kicks to Robinson. Hill passes to Turner. And here's George for three. And he gets it to go. George has got five points in the quarter. Really good job of creating just enough space to let that one fly. Hill again. Feeds the Butler. Hits it. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And the Bulls lead by two. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. And all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Rose attacking. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Butler kicks to Gibson. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball. It's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that one. Got that one up quick. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed have come from beyond. Rose up on top. He's guarded by Hill. Rose. Oh. Oh. Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark. You know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. I, I'm startled that he would even try something like that at this stage of the game. Yatel is on the wing. They get it again. Back to George. There's the pass to Ellis. There's the feet to George. The drive by Ellis. Kicks it to Robinson. It's Hill on the wing. Again, missing Hill. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Rose with the ball. Pass to Gibson. Yes! And really, I like the fact that even with the big lead, they never coasted. To me, that's a sign of a really good team, Greg, because you should always be playing against the game and yourself. I know there's an opponent out there, but when you have a lead, it's all about continuing to execute. Do what you do and stay true to that. And I like that aggressiveness and full speed ahead uh, kind of attack that they have. And so it's Chicago winning this one. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, Clark, but things finally came together for them in overtime. Looked to me like the amber light on the gas tank didn't quite come on. <laughs> <laughs>